It's just another day. 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 Rug, Rugrats and shit was on Nick Jr. Yeah, but like, <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I was a VHS kid. I would watch a lot of VHS. I wouldn't watch, like, television. I watch movies. Are you trying to tell me you watched television shows on VHS? Yep. <laughs> yeah. To be fair. Well, my brother's... All right, so, like, we would go to the video store all the time. And we would rent, like, we would... Each kid was allowed to rent a VHS. And so most of the time we would rent movies. And then occasionally I'd rent TV show VHSs, like, for shows, like, I just didn't understand would play at certain hours. <clears throat> or my uh so a real serial killer weird thing about me was I used to love the TV guide channel. They would actually have some like interesting shit on that little blurb above it while the what was on TV would scroll. And I would get you're I would not, have, you're not have wrong. That as my I would have that as my go back to channel cuz like I would go cuz like for the younger I'm I'm going to record this so for the younger crowd before we had just a TV guide button. There was a channel that would be tell you what was on other channels. And I guess before that, they used to have like the booklets you could buy. Yeah. But I would go to the TV guide channel, and there'd always be like interviews and other things, behind the scenes stuff playing like at the top of the screen. And then it would scroll telling you what was on what channels. <clears throat> but I would just like leave that on and I would go to something and then there was a button you could push that would take you back to the TV guide channel. Like it, you'd hit the back button at whatever previous station you were on, it would flip to. So I would do that on commercials to see what else was on. That's just that's how I rolled. I feel I remember the channel well. I mean, it was, I know exactly what you're talking about. Like whenever you would watch that channel, you would see like, I don't know, I remember. One thing specifically was they were showing like the stunts from Mission Impossible too, mm-hmm. which I just watched the other weekend. It was actually pretty funny. The movie that got me burned for illegally downloading, I watched finally legally on Amazon, which I plan on. I want to watch Mission Impossible three this weekend, but uh, Chelsea just went to Home Depot to buy us the stuff to paint. So as soon as I'm finished recording here, I'm gonna go paint. There you go. But yeah, that's all about the homeowner life, man. That's why we, we record in this. Home I'll home. edit these. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll edit them during the week, I think. I'll find a day. I'll just be like, all right, I'm going to spend an hour editing. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's it's fine. fine. Do you watch? You remember watching Smallville, right? You know, I uh, did not. I remember. I know of yeah. it. I watched maybe five minutes of it and decided I wasn't a CW fan. But again, I watched movies, David. I didn't watch television. I watched the TV Guide channel. You just and- hold on. I'm just trying to make sure you decided you weren't a CW fan in like 2002. Yep. Actually, back when confused. it was the UPN uh, that's, channel. That sounds. That sounds. That sounds like you might be. You might be capping a little bit for like a 2008 when you were like, the CW is not for me because that shit was middle school. Come Dude, on. I'm telling you right now, we want like when. Come on. Here's, Wrestling here's, came on that same channel. Come on. It did. But here's here's what I watched. All right. If you truly want to know. Adam, squint what, harder. Squint harder. Squint harder, Adam. If you Look truly want to know. Look at him. Pacino. Look at him. <laughs> you talking to me? Yeah. You talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you want to know what I watched on television. Here's what it consisted of. Fox, because I liked The Simpsons, Malcolm in the Middle, X-Files, King of the Hill. We're, like, yeah. always on. Because they, they would play those in a row. It would be Simpsons, then it would be King of the Hill, then it would be um, X-Files. Yeah. And then, what was the other one I said? I can't remember in my brain. Well, well X-Files no. was on Saturday, and all that other shit was on Sundays. But that's, like, what we would watch. And then, like, we would watch Raw's War, and we would watch SmackDown on Thursdays, 
and then uh, <clears throat> if we weren't watching, it wasn't. It wasn't Konami, even Thursday then. Well, Raj, it was Wednesday back then, wasn't it? It wasn't in the middle of the week. I thought it was Thursdays. Mm. I thought it was on. I thought. I thought like Monday Night Raw has always been Monday, but I thought SmackDown was Wednesday. Then they moved. No, it to I Thursday, think it was. And then I thought they recently. It's on Fridays now, right? Yeah, I think it was. I remember it being on Thursdays. Yeah, I think before it was Thursday, it might have been a Wednesday though. Just like it's just, I don't know why that's popping into my head, but I feel like they moved well, it at one. They point. were recorded it on Tuesdays, Thursday, so SmackDowns were recorded on Tuesdays, and I only know that because I would attend SmackDown shows when they came to Hershey, and they were always on Tuesdays, and then they would record it, edit it, and have it aired on Thursdays. <clears throat> which is cool because like when a title change would happen at Hershey we were like the first people to know and like there wasn't a Twitter or anything so it's not like you could be like oh what the fuck like then you had to go to a fucking blog or a message board or some shit or just happened to have been there you know like it's just like you wouldn't know but yeah, yeah you like, gotta have your finger on the pulse yeah like and I lucked out because like my brother worked at Hollywood Video and then Blockbuster so like I would just get movies for free so he would bring home VHSs or DVDs. Like, I, I would get the box sets of The Sopranos to watch of on VHS, because he would do the inventory and he'd be like, they just disappeared. <laughs> so he had like, VHS I think box sets of the season first two one seasons. And, yeah, see, I think I have season one and two, and then I have the first season of Deadwood on fucking VHS. I have Deadwood on my phone because of HBO Max because I never finished the third season of Deadwood and I eventually want to watch the movie but like i i keep telling chelsea i'm like i think you'd like deadwood and she's like i don't know because the one time she came in while i was watching it was where swearinger had a kidney stone and they were trying to get it out of him and it, she was just like and at the time her dad had kidney stone so it like freaked her the fuck out well you know what's really hard when you're with someone who only watches porn 24 7 it's really hard to get them to watch anything else <laughs> She's just a disgusting animal. I didn't want to just say it, but thank God somebody did. <laughs> I'll say it. I'm not going to be under any repercussions for this. What's she going to do? Come to Pennsylvania and talk to me? Get real. <laughs> this is fucking... <laughs> what are you going to do? Express your feelings <laughs> at me? Yeah. <laughs> nah. It's, uh, it's... She's too busy watching Emily in Paris and stuff like that. Fuck. It's that show on Netflix. I've heard I don't of it, know but it. also I... it sounds terrible, so no. It's like New Girl and uh I'm New Girl. Well what... New Girl is fantastic. What about so the don't uh, the... bring that into this? What's what's the other one? Ugly Betty, it's like those type of shows. It's Ugly, Ugly Betty, Betty and New Girl. Something tells me that's not real. Yeah. You lying? Me. You fucking lying to me? You is this the CW me? shit all over again? <laughs> you lying to me? You, fucking... you said you didn't like CW in 2002? <laughs> Dude, I'm doing you know, I mean, for real, though. I just did, like, Smallville. They had Smallville, and, like, I don't even know what else. Like, it just wasn't for me. I could tell. I looked at it. I could smell it. I could see the editing. I looked at this. I was like, this guy's pretending to be Lex Luthor, and they're claiming this kid's Superman. This is not for me. They also had sub uh, not yeah, they had Sabrina Teenage Witch on there too, didn't they? No. What else am I thinking of? Sabri is that CBS? Sabrina, Sabrina I f fuck, what had TGI Fridays? I think that was CBS, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, no, that might have been ABC. I think it was ABC. I didn't watch yeah. any of that shit. We watched Fox, we watched FX, we watched Comedy Central and uh Toonami on Cartoon Network. Don't, don't you dare stretch out Fox like it's not network television. Don't you like I didn't watch <laughs> ABC because I watched Fox. I hey we watched Don't Fox. You start. Don't you start <laughs> because they me? had Malcolm in the middle. That shit was awesome. Fox used to yeah, be the Mal shit. The only time I watched ABC is when they got lost. And then th that's all I watched on ABC. That was the most network shit I watched. I mean, that's, I that's just, about all they had at that time, too. That's I, kind of fucking, that was like, like their life. I've had this argument before. I haven't even introed the show, but I'll argue to death with this. I didn't watch Friends. I didn't watch, like, any Friends like whack. don't watch Friends. I didn't watch uh what's the other popular show from that Seinfeld. Episode? I mean I didn't watch Seinfeld at that time. I wish I did, but I was a dumb kid and I didn't understand. Also it was on Fox. I wish I would have. Um Actually, Frasier, that was on NBC. I wish I would have watched Frasier when I was a kid, but I also wouldn't have gotten it as much as I you, do. Now. Yeah, you would not have understood. But now that anything. I'm older and I watch Seinfeld and Frasier, it's just like I like ah I'm oh, that's crazy. Do you, do you know now. where I watched? Do you know where I watched Frasier? No, tell me, David. 
it was reruns on the CW along with Supernatural and Smallville. <laughs> you didn't like the CW in 2002? <laughs> you said 2008 like 10 minutes ago. No, that's when that's when you're dreaming about the bad version of CW. I'm talking about when CW was in its prime. Well, when there was like season three of Supernatural and you were still trying to figure out the yellow-eyed demon's whole fucking plot. Well, I didn't start watching cool Supernatural shit. till 2013 and then... I only watched up to, like, season five with Chelsea because a girl at Select Medical was obsessed with it and fucking ruined it for us because all she would talk about Whoa. is Supernatural. Whoa. So okay, if you only watched the first... If you only watched the first five seasons, what I'm hearing is you're a closet 2002 CW fan who just won't admit it. It's fucking God. You love... You love Frasier? <laughs> you love <laughs> the first five seasons of Supernatural? Oh, Jesus, fuck. Well, all right. Uh, how dare you compare... Emily in Paris to New Girl. Fuck you for that. That's not me. New it's Girl Chelsea. is an unbelievable show. This is the one. This is not me. This is me reciting what yeah, people Yeah, but you say compared to it to New Girl, so I'm blaming you. Fair enough. This is just another day with. <laughs> <laughs> we actually doing that or are we moving yeah, around? Fuck yeah. yeah. You're right into uh, it. David. <laughs> Adam, Elliot, fucking, uh, we're in it now. We're <laughs> like, we're eleven minutes in intro. That's where we're at, baby. <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> well, I mean, look, shame on me for not knowing shows that I don't watch and comparing them to shows I don't watch. But you know what? That's just yeah, where we're at don't now. Fucking the CW 2008 show. And, and you would love research. it if you watched it. <laughs> <laughs> look, I, don't I come had... in here with your bullshit takes without <laughs> research. <laughs> <laughs> My hot takes. Look, I've been watching Making Fun because that's actually really fucking great. Show. great. It's, it's so very funny. Good show. It's perfect time. It's a perfect the editing length of is time. so good. I know. It's, editing is awesome. That's why I love that. That show reminds oh. me of the same editing that they did on Cooking with Paris, which I don't know if you watched that on Netflix, but I watched that yet. it is hysterical to watch Paris Hilton go grocery shopping, cook meals, and just you see her break the Paris Hilton character and be an actual human at times, which is really funny because you're just like, oh yeah, that's right. People think she's really dumb and she's really like that when it's like, no, she's actually like a super intelligent, like businesswoman who pretends to be dumb because she knows it appeals to the masses. And, it, and I don't she care. I, I saw money. her. I saw her asshole. I saw her asshole in night vision. <laughs> what a great way. To, what a great thing. But what a great her. business. All right. What a great business plan. Well, That's your asshole in night vision. We're. <laughs> We're in it, we're in it now, boys. Do I got to remember the yep. the format for this draft? This is draft two, part one. I'm sorry. Yeah. Are we are we drafting and then I forget. Do we spin then draft or draft well, we, and spin? We spin spin then draft. Spin yep. it up. Spin it up, uh, baby. He's got, he's got to load it up. But up. it is up. it is good to know that we don't have historical uh fiction adventure. adventures. Historical yeah. fiction adventures. Fuck that forever. That was the most intense thing I think I've ever experienced in my life. Um, it was very difficult. I, let me let me fucking let me see the next wheel and let me pick out what's going to be terrible so it lands right yeah, on I it mean, like instantly. I guess we can give people the summary of last week. Uh, or I guess the, la the part two of the first draft. Unfortunately, David's movie lost. It was still a good movie. I think we all oh, learned... Wait. Do you just want me to show it? I didn't get it to David. You want me to just grab it and show it? Oh yeah, yeah. You, you might can as show well. It. Yeah. You can show it if you want. Two seconds. Yeah. So, um, I have to click off the wheel now. No, no, it's fine. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to. He'll show you. It's it's pretty great. Like he immediately knew what to get you. I wanted to get you something terrible, but I let it, I left it up to Adam because he's the winner. <clears throat> so he got you something that know. is nice, pleasant, and perfect for you, but also something you are not a fan of. Oh shit. Yeah, it was it was great. I mean it was it was Is just, it that fucking white hat? Is that no, what it no. he got you this white no. hat. You want a pink Whitney Masters hat? Yep. No. That's what it is. So Adam, go oh, ahead and display okay. it for him. I hyped it up for you. It is a Guy Fieri oh, pop yeah. vinyl. <laughs> 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 is he holding a burger yes he is yeah oh, what yeah. the fuck absolutely how much did that cost you 17 dollars 
<laughs> what a way to spend 17. What am I supposed to do? Like, am I supposed to hold? Should I hold it the whole time? We're going to have you take a photo with it. And then uh, whenever you get your we'll setup, it's, 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 yeah. it's, you'll just have to permanently for the rest of just another day, whenever you have your house and your office set up, it's got to be in the background. Your loser, your loser trophies are forever in the background now. So yeah. you, if I, will, I will set it up and I will get it literally like over my <clears throat> shoulder somewhere that it's in visual. I just wanted it to, like, if we have fast, slow, banana, or wet clothes, like, we have to take a screenshot and make a little poster of, like, what we were looking like on the day of that. Or, like, while eating, like, the punishment. Those will be pictures in the background of your of your set. I think it'll yeah, be hilarious. We'll, we'll figure but, something out for this, yeah. But for this one, looks like the wheel spinning genres are comedy, drama, Fucking guy theory. crime, science, uh, sci-fi slash fantasy, action, thriller, horror, mystery, or wild card, which I love. I love yeah, this. David, what do you I not mean, want? Just, like, let's just get yeah. it out of the way, David. Tell us what we're getting. Tell oh. us what you don't want. Yeah, what I don't want is probably what we'll get. I would say somewhere... I don't think anything on here is really that bad, mm -hmm. but I think the last two things equally I want to hit right now is probably a crime or a drama. Yeah, I think drama would be a little difficult because i'm only worried because if, if we hit drama then a really stupid fucking like subcategory <laughs> for it or something <laughs> like could you imagine if we had drama adventure or some shit last time like what the fuck would that uh, even yeah. have been what well, tyler perry movie was that i don't know what tyler I, perry I, movie? Yeah. i don't know what the fuck well, it, it wouldn't be. have been adventure because that was a genre yeah was it yeah it was it, it would have been a, it would have been like drama historical right. fiction right. which you could have done that. That would have been easy. I'll tell you what I don't want. Or... I don't want a, a, a mystery. I don't know if I would want a mystery. It just, it just seems like... Gotta have some creative juices flowing for a mystery. Yeah, yeah. You, don't want it, you don't want it to be like, and it was the butler. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Or do you do? You just go super cheesy mystery. Yeah, you could do that too. Life is like a box don't of chocolates. Write, well, don't, fuck. Don't write, don't write anything. Just get on, right? And say, knives out, and then get off. And drop my mic. <laughs> Just fucking right, slam it. Spin the wheel, Spin. Adam. Let's see what we're getting. It's my favorite part of the whole thing. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what can I say? It's knives just a good day. Out. Mystery. Knives out. We got mystery. You know, it, it's one of us. If we say we don't like something, we're going to get it. That's true. Oh, the theme. Oh, see, what if it's a spy <laughs> mystery? That'd be nice. So let's that see. That would be we got, interesting. We got, I well, mean, a kung fu that. mystery? That would be fucking dope, too. Who yes. killed my massa? Who so killed Sifu? Let's see. We got kung fu. A coming of age mystery is going to be impossible. Heist, no, it's not. Spy. No, it's not. Good it's literally evil. a story of masturbation until you come. You just don't know when it's going to happen. War, coming of and age, then... underdog, man versus machine, societal, and survival, chosen one. Societal, like, I don't even know. Like, I need a definition of that at some point. I don't remember what the, I know I, I put it on there, but I don't there? remember what it means. I'll look it up. I don't Honestly, you're gonna have to talk about trans. Well, hopefully, rights it doesn't come up because BLM. I just don't want to look I it up. I don't want to look it up, but. I'm excited. Uh, Dave, what do you know? Right, here we go. This is like... Well, it's going. It's going to be... I don't think what... it matters. It's going to be weird no matter what, probably. <gasps> be a spy. Be a spy. spy? A heist spy. mystery? A spy? spy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. A spy mystery. This is like All right. some phenomenal All right. shit. Nice. So, spy games. <laughs> spy games. All right. So, this draft's going to be a little different because... It is going to be four characters. <clears throat> Writing spy mystery, drafting four actors, and who shall go first? Uh, who went oh, first last time? For that. I made it a wheel. You did have a wheel for it. Oh, no, we did, didn't we just I'm go? I'm not going to display no, no, it. Wait, no, 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 no. Last time we went D-A-E, just go A-E-D this time. Just yep. go, just, just skip to the next. So, Adam, you go first. Snake. Okay. Draft. Well, Hold fuck. I got, put, uh, I got a hiccup. I apologize. Thinking. Let me uh, stop. Spy ow, mystery, ow. right? Spy mystery. Again, I. 
Golly, okay. I don't so happy know. I took Daniel Craig out of it and Christian Bale and all those other people. That <laughs> all these really great well. spy actors. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I it mean, would have been fucking perfect for the role. I think I. All right. Now that I know, it's a spy mystery. Oh you guess God. who? It's a mystery. Mm. Spy mystery. Oh boy. Um, it's a toughie. God, I wanted to do a bit, but I don't know that I can. Adam, you can always do a out. bit. I mean, so far Didn't the bit has worked out. out. It's true. I mean, you still um, your guns, man. All right, fuck it. Brad Pitt. The first selection of this draft is Brad Pitt. Well, Brad Pitt. I thought somebody picked him, but that could just be me tripping. <laughs> nope. I think you're tripping. I think we nope. talked about picking him, but none that's of us probably, actually picked probably him. probably what happened. Um, I put the list in the undraftables in the uh, Discord. The undraftables. The, the, un- the a... that's the name of Adam's movie. The undraftables. It's a it's a spy Ooh, a mystery good... about a sports team that is investigating another sports team's plays. It's the it's, Astros. It's the case of uh, oh. Deshaun Watson. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Got him. Fuck. The untradeable. Okay, spy right. mystery movie. I think my first actor. Is going to be Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton, okay. He's Batman. He was a detective. He's got the look. Yeah, yeah. it's true. It's oh, true. He's got the look. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, if you were more of a 2002 CW fan, you'd understand that the 1989 Batman was not a detective. He was more just an action hero. But that's fine. That's fine. You do what you want. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> you ever oh. dance with the devil in the pale moonlight, <laughs> bro? <laughs> if you. you I'm just saying, if you don't draft fucking Jared Padalecki and Jensen Angles, I don't even know yeah. who you are. Jensen Angles. <laughs> if you don't draft Jin- the, Ingles. the man, the man from My Bloody Valentine 3D, and the man from the Friday the Thirteenth uh, remake, I don't even know who you are. That was a shit movie. That's so stupid. Both of actually, them. My Bloody Valentine is a stupid fucking horror movie overall, but the remake was just worse. so much worse than it. It's so stupid. But I guess it's uh I guess it's my turn, huh? Mm-hmm. It is your turn. Pierce Brosnan. All right, this okay. man is on a mission. You get to go again because the snake draft. Oh, you know? that's fucking baller as shit. Roger Moore. Oh, fuck. He's oh, he's dead. Geez. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, is he dead? Oh fuck. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, you know no, who? All right, Timothy. If Timothy, Timothy Dalton. Dalton isn't dead. I was gonna yeah, say Timothy yeah. Dalton. <clears throat> uh, I was like, holy shit! You're making me have to look up uh. Okay, okay, okay. I oh think God, I, know. I didn't. I didn't know Roger Moore died. Actually, to be totally real with you. Yeah, dude. All right. That's, that's trash. Well, then, because David's forcing me into this world, Sean Bean. <laughs> nice. Golden Eye. <laughs> that's that's okay. a good pull. We're pulling double O's left and right, baby. <laughs> oh my okay. God. Uh, oh Jesus. Oh, you make. Uh, all right. I have to look up somebody. Fuck. But uh, you got a little time because I got to figure mine out. I got two in a row here, so. I have to make sure somebody's not dead. We're good. John Connery is dead. Yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> before you get, before you get too crazy, mm. he he has passed. You know who's a great mm. Bond? You could also pick too is the dude who was Bond for one movie for uh, Honor Majesty's Secret Service. Oh, the OG fucking Bond movie. That's like one of my favorite ones. Uh, I love. So you know what? You know what the best part about that movie is? George Lazenby is the guy's name. Bro, the fucking the beach fight scene where they're fighting on the beach and shit was just unreal. <laughs> the way it's like a super slowly choreographed fight that they like sped up times fifteen. You have I to. fucking love that shit. It looks so stupid. Uh, all right. I guess I'll go. You get two in a row. Yeah, I know. Uh, if you need a moment, I can vamp about one more thing. I, I went, we were keep going because I gotta think a little bit more. And uh, I don't like this person, but it would fit a bit. The one antique store we went to had old movie posters, and I almost bought a vinyl poster. They had two Bond ones, right? They had uh, for your eyes only, and then they had. Um, 
what was it? Oh, the Living Daylights, which I wanted to get the Living Daylights because the funniest thing is like the way they got the tagline for the movie is he says, you scared the Living Daylights out of me. Like that, like that's a saying, you know? <laughs> if they would have had uh, any any other posters, like I would have bought any realistic, like I was looking for specific movie posters. These were authentic ones that hung in a theater. Yeah, they were very pacific. Uh, pacific. If they would have had um, any other Roger Moore ones, I probably would have bought it. If they had Octopussy, I would have bought that shit. That's a great Get movie that. poster. And it says I'm Octopussy. Not in shit. Adam's losing his mind now. But I honestly, like... Yeah, because now i got to make a fucking bit. You always God could. I do establish that, like... <clears throat> I would love to start an original movie poster collection, but... I also think that's a very expensive collection to get into. It's also like, probably a real bitch of one, too. How many original movie posters are left? That's the other thing, yeah. I don't think there's many, many left. I mean, this place had, like... It was funny, too, because it had some posters from Mexico of, like, movies. So it had, like, a King Kong 1980s poster, but it was in all, like, Spanish. And I was like, it's pretty cool, but, like, also don't know if I like the style of poster they did for their like not saying like the Spanish language but like the actual like depictions because they do different posters for different countries just based on like what goes to the masses but you know what that's one of those things too if you aren't in it for the fact that it's an original or whatever and you just like it because you like it just get it printed and enjoy it there's really no reason I mean most of the shit you do you have any idea how hard it probably is to actually get a like let's say a graded defined 100 percent definitive original poster yeah with like a guarantee it's like yeah this hung in this theater at this time blah 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 like that's that's gonna be so fucking hard to actually find but if you're like yo i just want a golden eye poster man you can just print that shit out if you're like man i just want a fucking phantom of the opera poster boom just print that bitch out they had original it's still, theater it's still seating. Be cool they had like original theater seating at this place too which i almost bought but it was also like 800 bucks and i was like I don't know if Chelsea would be uh, happy with me if I was just like, <laughs> these were in a movie theater. They're wooden in metal frames. She'd be like, these are uncomfortable as shit. And I'd be like, you're right. I know, yeah, yeah. I was like, man, but Sorry, they're I'm cool. Almost there. No, you're good. I don't There's... disagree. I mean, old theater seats do just just the standard flip-down seat. It's They look cool. It's got a cool aesthetic. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm good. All right. This man's making his decision. Yep, I made it. Uh, Second pick, Oliver Hudson. Okay. No idea who that is. Kate Hudson's brother, but he he was in like um he was in like TV shows and stuff. Fair enough. Um, He he was in the show with uh, Patrick Warburton on the CW. Or so, no, I, I was about to say. I actually, I, don't, I think it was either on it the CW or the reruns, or the, or the reruns yeah. ran on it. Fuck, what was that I, show called? I'm trying to remember right now. It was something about, it was Rules something of about marriage. Rules of engagement. Rules yeah, of that's engagement. it. Yep. Yeah. David Spade. Yep. Yeah, check something. He was also in Grown Ups 2 or the first, no, 2. I think it was 2. I think it was 2, yeah. He, he, like the yo, he was a yo yoga teacher or a, Something, or yeah, something like something that. Was, some bullshit, yeah, yeah, some stupid shit like that. Which also leads, don't forget that Kate Hudson and Oliver Hudson are fucking Kurt Russell's children. And and uh, was it Goldie, Goldie Hawn? Hawn? Yeah, yeah. So weird. I like. And then you, and then and then you have the third. You have the other son too, the one nobody talks about. You have fucking uh, Wyatt, yeah. Wyatt Russell. Yep, and it's just yeah, it's just so fucking strange. You're like, dude, how many? And he's and Wyatt Russell is the only one that looks like Kurt, and he is a strange yeah. looking fucking dude. He's got yeah, a weird, he he's got a weird face. Yeah, absolutely. Boom, boom, boom. All right, well, I guess my third round pick here. Uh, we're going Olivia Newton John. Dang, son. That's a that's a pull from forever. Are you picking people with all O's in their name or something? Is that you'll find out. Yeah. Okay. There's a bit. I still have one more pick to to make this work. The motherfucker's gonna pick Oscar Wilde. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe gross. Fuck. Gross. Well, I'm I I already have an idea in my head of what my story is roughly gonna be. 
Oh, and I, I mean, think so far there. with Michael Keaton and Sean Bean, I need somebody with like a a a, a, a higher acting caliber to keep up. And I think Shit, somebody from the CW in 2002 would really hit that spot. You know what? Maybe because my pool is Jason Alexander. I almost guarantee at some point he was on the CW 2002. Probably. Probably in a rerun of another show that wasn't on that channel originally, but, you know, he was probably there. But now I have to look up one more person because, like, I have to I have to balance this out. Mm. David, now you have two picks in a row for your mystery spy movie. Oh, so I'm, so I'm finishing it off then, huh? Yep. Yep. All right, give me... Matt Smith and let me think here. Who's my fourth? Dude, you you just sparked so much in my brain that I was like, "That's right, I can do this." I'll I'll go with uh, <clears throat> Gal Gadot. Give me give me Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Gadot. Imagine there's no countries. <laughs> 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 fucking hell! I just nice. I'll never forget that Fuck. shit when they're all singing "Imagine." I'm like, "You fucking losers!" No, I'm, um, Imagine. Imagine. Um, dragon. So you you have th- three males, one female. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm doing. Uh, I think I'm I'm gonna rework. Don't fucking copy me. Don't fucking copy me. <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. Don't I'm not. you fucking copy me? No. <laughs> I'm gonna go Gal Gadot. No, like <laughs> <laughs> Junior. No, like Junior. <laughs> Barty Crouch, Junior. Junior. No, um, <laughs> I uh, think I have an actor in mind that I think would be a really sweet um, fit, and I think I'm I think I'm gonna pick him for this because it's gonna fuck other people down the road. But I'm going Chris Hemsworth. I think Chris Hemsworth. I can. I need that. What, you, what is it? What are you writing? What are you writing? All female Ghostbusters cast. What's going on here? What yeah, he's this? gonna be the movie? secretary. It's gonna be hilarious because yeah. like <laughs> he's such a fit, strong male, but he's gonna be very effeminate. Right, but all the ladies are just not, they're not that. They're not interested in him. Mm-mm. And they're not interesting. <laughs> yeah, Ghostbusters Afterlife. When's it coming out? I don't know. Well, that was not Afterlife. That I was know. Ghostbusters. Afterlife I actually watched, and that movie kicks fucking ass. <clears throat> Did it ever come out? Yeah, it's been out, bro. You can watch it on the television at home if you choose for like $15 or something. Not earth it i don't pay for movies i rent movies for like 199 to 399 if that so so if you choose to rent it or whatever your goal here is Mm -hmm. i think well i forget do you like ghostbusters like one and two or you yes no fan not really I i like the first ghostbusters and the second one's pretty okay so at least if you like the first one then you'll really enjoy afterlife i fucking i fucking loved it and paul rudd's character is fantastic Chelsea doesn't like Paul Rudd. She doesn't. Well, think that's because all she does is watch her. fucking porn all day. She doesn't know <laughs> and, what's good. And Emily in Paris. Just because <laughs> she knows where the nice big titties are doesn't mean she knows anything about acting. Oh God, I'm gonna tell her so. Like, it'd be like you have to listen to this episode. Like, we tell a great story about you. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Adam's stuck in his bit, and I, I'm really stuck in this fucking bit. It's okay. I'm undoing my microphone to hold it to my face because I, I want to lean back. Like I have a people, bit. but I don't know how they would lean think. back. I understand that. I've been in that situation. It's a precocious situation to be in. I um, yeah, precocious. I do, precocious. I do have like a slight idea of what my story is going to be, which is kind of helpful this time around because a mystery spy film with the cast I have seems very interesting. Especially, I just have to remember to draw a line that I'm going to need to know later on. Like, I have to mark. Um, 
I got um, it. We are going with Bryce Dallas Howard. I don't know who that is. Adam, who's Jim what's your list Jurassic again? World. Oh, I'll run them down here in a second. You'll, you'll get the I'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we can, we'll we can all do a rundown. I'm trying to I'll catch do a rundown shit. of everyone's list here. Go ahead, sir. All right, so um, Elliot has Michael Keaton, mm-hmm. Sean Bean, Jason Alexander, and Chris Hemsworth. David, you have Pierce Brosnan, Timothy Dalton, Matt Smith, and Gal Gadot, or Godot, however you pronounce it. Godot. 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 And I have Brad Pitt, Oliver Hudson, Olivia Newton-John, and Bryce Dallas Howard, the Boob Squad. Nice. I like it. Nice. Boob. B-O-O-B. Boob. I mean, it's going to work out. It always does. I think it'll, I mean, it's really about the characters, the actors, I'll just fit them in there. This draft went by so much faster because it's two less, so it's technically like... It's a 30% less. <laughs> or a third of a third of the percent. Half the whatever. list is gone. I don't know. I feel confident now that we have to write spy or mystery spy with four characters. I think a lot was learned last week. Uh, paraphrase. You can have your scene moments. I think as long as we do high and tight synopsis, I think we're in the clear. As yeah. long as you can tell the story, like put it down to a a five minute explanation. Yeah, I was gonna say cut yep, it yep. if you can do it in five minutes and you're good. Yeah, I think that is the best way to approach it. Um, I'm trying if to you think do it in six minutes, watch some goddamn you're gay mystery spy movies. Get in. Yeah, I'm that's all spy movies. All, all spy movies have miseries. Yeah, it's true. Miseries. Lethal weapons. Miseries. Miseries. Like, who is behind it? Who stole the list? That's Minority Report. Yep. Yo, mama. I guess we're gonna have to look up a good examples of that and figure it out from there. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else to this? I feel like we just blazed through this thing. Yeah, well, I think normally we care of business. do some uh, bantering beforehand, but like, I guess we. Can... It's not like we got that out of the way. Yeah, we we kind of did it. Well, I in mean, the middle uh, or now that we, you know what, Luke, we're bantering at the end now because I, I I gotta ask yeah, you guys how on. your house hunts been because like we know where we're at with the movie now we're switching the format a little bit. How's your house hunt, David? I mean, th- I mean Adam can attest. There just ain't shit here. There's nothing, yeah. And if there is something, you're overpriced by a fucking mountain. Like, it's literally you have to have just a mountain of cash to throw at it. Terrible location. Yeah. Cease said he has an acre of land uh, out by Wolf's Bridge somewhere he could sell if if either of you want to build a house. Yeah, but that's going to be so like crazy, crazy expensive to build a house. So, so actually, Adam, that's not totally true. If you're willing to build a modular home that's already, you know, pre-built and existing, those mm-hmm. prefab houses are actually pretty cheap. So I did some research into it. If you buy a prefab house, and let's let's say you buy a 900 square foot house, which is obviously small, but just follow me. Buy a 900 square foot house, costs you like a buck seventy or less. It's right around that price. It only costs you thirty grand to forty grand to add a basement, which will be the exact same size, which turns it into a you can turn it into a split level, buy level, finish the basement, whatever you want to do to it. Kind of like at your dad's. Well, not really at your dad's, but you guys just have a house with a nice basement. Yeah, it's but the dad's. actual. This is actually a modular house. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, same thing. But then the basement will literally ma- mirror the top side. So you buy a 900 yeah. square foot house, you actually have an 1,800 square foot house by the time it's all said and done. And you're going to get it for under $250,000. Now, the only thing you have to worry about when it comes down to it is. Are you near any, like, you know, city water? Water and sewage. Yeah. Do you have to get hooked up to a well? Do you need a septic and all that other shit and what that is? But if you can avoid that part, you could realistically walk away with a pretty nicely sized home for kind of an awesome price compared to everything else that's out there right now. That also what? includes them. Whenever they do that, that includes in that price. That's that, They do the floor. They put the refrigerator in, microwave, stove, like, and all that bullshit. So it comes with appliances, cabinets. The shit's already painted. You have 
the whole scheme already done. The showers are in, the tubs are in, everything else. Like it's they're kind of fucking nice. So that's kind of where I've been leaning towards. If I could find a nice piece of land that wasn't extremely expensive or somewhere out in butt fuck Egypt, where yeah. I'm gonna have to put in like some crazy septic because the perk test is shit and all this other nonsense. So I can talk. That's kind of like for you, David, because it's literally I think it's down the road from your current house. Really. Yeah, it's off of Wolf's Bridge somewhere. He has an acre still. Oh, yeah, it has to be close. I mean, can't be that far. Mm -mm. I'm just curious. I, I, I'll have to ask him where exactly it's at, because I'll be like, yo, this mofo's looking for a modular home, so... And he'll be able to tell you all the deets, and he knows the location. He's, you know him. He Bro, knows building these. modular just makes sense now. Like, it just... <laughs> well, just because the area... It makes sense anywhere. I mean, shit. How much? I mean, just compare prices with how much to the size of your house. Probably could have did the same thing with a bigger house for a modular home right now. Put it on mm. some piece of land with a sidewalk. Yeah, our house has been coming along. The mold is taken care of. It's 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 crazy because like it wasn't high levels of mold, but we found out it's just because of the organic material of like the people owning a dog and not cleaning. So we got that taken care of. I have to take care of the mice in the attic. So I have to remove all the insulation from the attic. Leave the poison pellets up there to see if they eat them. Which is let me be tell fun. you something. Let me tell you something. Don't do poison pellets. Don't waste your time. Yeah. One, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Usually. Two. You will not find them when they die, and they will rot somewhere in your home and fucking yeah. stink up your house. Because when they eat the poison pellets, yeah, they take them. They back don't. To the... well, well, the thing is, they don't eat the poison pellet and then die. The poison is a blood thinner, and it thins their blood to the point that they actually hemorrhage and just like explode, pretty much. Like their brain and heart just explode from the extremely thin blood level. Mm -hmm. So, so they could be in a wall, and they'll just go fucking splat, and then they're just dead in your fucking wall. Yeah. So your best bet, find some type of, like, like no-look type trap, you know what I mean? Put a mm -hmm. couple of them up there. Do that. The poison pellets are going to be a big mistake. Yeah, I have to take all the insulation down up there, too, which is, like, the fiberglass and shit, because they've shredded it all. And, like, I don't know if there's active mice. There's just poop up there and stuff, so, like, I can't tell. Oh, there's poop. They're probably, they're, they're probably active. They're probably there. Yeah. yeah. That's mm. that's the indicator. If you find scratches and poopy, I just see lots of get, lots of dookie. Get a uh, get a UV light too, because then you can follow their piss trails if they're pissing around and dragging their dicks anywhere and pissing on stuff. Yeah, you can follow the trail where they're going. Yeah, I have to track that stuff, but that's gonna be my weekends for the next while. Loading up a bunch of garbage bags with that stuff and wearing my hazmat suit and mask and goggles so I don't get fucking rat piss and shit all over me and. <clears throat> scooping that up and then loading up but I, everything else like is taken care of like we're cleaning the one bathroom that was terrible and disgusting and I've been trying to clean the fans which were fucking nasty taking them apart and getting cause like they were just old the people just didn't clean it's isn't worse it fucked up to, isn't it fucked up to think at the price you just paid if this was like three years ago you could have just bought a brand new house at that price with no questions asked yeah yeah. It's now it's like, yeah, I spent this money and I'm cleaning up rat shit, mold, farts. Yeah. You know, there's a homeless guy next to me. Like, I gotta take him out of here. Well, that's the thing. We it's just all sorts of shit for just for just what we've done with the house. Like, we got we got less than appraised, which is nice. And um, a house exactly like ours, but a couple hundred square feet less and one less bedroom. It just sold for like two hundred sixty thousand. So like realistically flip it. flip it right away <laughs> realistically our house is like already gaining and the area is like really nice i think it was just like these people just didn't they were too old to take care of it so we have to do all the cleaning and and but i mean it's it's awesome so far like it's going to be a really good like we could technically like move in anytime but we want to <clears throat> scrub more do your painting and stuff and like yeah Get all that shit out of the way so you, all your furniture and stuff isn't there and you have to move shit around. Yeah, and that's the other thing, too, is, like, we're going to, once we get that, like, I'm literally leaving here to go paint. Chels went to go pick up brushes and stuff, so <clears throat> as soon as we're done, I'll be painting that up a bit, and then 
yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Like in two weeks, we'll probably move in. I have to schedule like the internet switch over, and I have to switch over my address tonight, and all that fun stuff. And it's like that's the that's the one downfall is just like it's also knowing when I should take certain stuff over. Like you want to take stuff over every once in a while and put it in the storage, yeah, but like I also you're not using and like you can just <clears throat> store away. But I also don't want to take too much stuff over because like I don't want like mice to be like, ooh, new stuff and like them somehow venture from out of the out attic into like a closet and like piss and shit all over my board games. I'm not gonna store anything in the attic, but I do want to go up there. Like I Probably after I get done painting, I'll go up there because it's a little cooler today, so I can go up and uh, with a garbage bag and start loading stuff up. Because it's just like it's crazy. You're just like how much stuff they just shred, and you're like, what the fuck? But it's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's all part of homeowning. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Nah, I don't mind. I mean, I'm excited too because like now we legitly have like enough space for like anyone to come down and like you know it, it it's just like it's convenient as fuck it's like oh thank god and we're right next to a tiny airport so if we want to take a small private jet somewhere guys we could ball out or a tiny uh yeah. uh propeller plane go for a fucking sick propeller plane ride that would be actually be pretty dope be like let's take a propeller plane to galveston fuck it take us 20 minutes but no, that's crazy that you like it's just been so fucky for you guys. Like, but there's not like in my list, like in my area that I'm searching, like there was like four or five houses added this week, and they all are like sold. Half the same of them were in fucking Edders. Oof. I'm not going to fucking Edders. No, fuck Edders. Edders fuck Edders forever. There's Heroin nothing there. Town. Fucking nothing in that town. Was fucking Walmart. I have a friend. No, I, I got <laughs> I no. I had I had. So, Oh, fuck, fuck your friend and editors. Fuck, fuck no, editors. no, he I, just bought a house. It was like it was affordable. Like it was right before the pandemic. Him and his wife bought a house up there because he's like, "Fuck it, man, I'll live in editors." He's like, "I work, and then when I'm not working, I'm home getting drunk." And I was like, "You do you, sir." He's hilarious. Yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. At this point, if I wasn't having a tiny baby, I would fucking just buy an RV or some shit and just live in that bitch for a while and fucking sell it because Cassie and Kevin, bro, it makes. That's what I'll say. It makes more sense. Well, it makes more sense just to do that than it does to fucking buy a house right now. Just the fucking prices are just so fucking crazy. I'm not going to get anything out of whatever I buy. I'm going to lose money on it in the long run, probably. Like, it's just a fucking, it's such a joke. Unless I build modular. At that point, the price is significantly different when it comes to the square footage, and it makes sense. Anything that exists right now in the market, you're just spending fifty thousand dollars or more over the actual fucking price. It's, it's just criminal. Like I think it's just fucked up. Like I lucked out. I mean, yes, my house is taking a lot more work than like you want in the beginning, but because of the way the market is, it's fine. All the actual stuff that's wrong, <clears throat> like all the major stuff that you typically would have to like your AC units, your heater, your roof, you like, uh appliances like the only appliances we had to buy are washer and dryer which we just bought for like 700 we got a set like of like you like damage in box which is nothing wrong listen i'll tell you what the real deal for you right now is you go ahead you get married you register (laughs) and you ask for a whole bunch of bullshit for the house and you just have everyone else fucking fill your home for you i can't afford that just yet which i mean I can't. We'll go, we'll, we'll... You know how expensive go marriage more. license is? Like fifty dollars. I don't have fifty. Bucks. <laughs> that face, like fifty bucks, <laughs> like oh shit. I have three dollars right here. Well, that looks forty-seven sick. more, and you're fucking married. This is this is coffee money this morning. Nah, I uh, I just it's just one of those things I laugh because I'm just like fuck like. I'm excited to paint the house, though. Like, I'm excited because we're going to do the living room, kitchen, like, dining and all this area, like, one color, and then the bedrooms are going to be a different color just to separate the space out. But it just sucks because our ceilings in the living room are 18 foot, so I need to get I need to rent scaffolding, which is, yeah. which is fun to find. 
I think we have to go to Home Depot and ask how much. And the, the, okay. You can rent from there, but like it's just about like on their website they say not available, which it means nothing because you just have to go to the store and ask. Yeah, right. I Fuck don't mind. That. I mean, it's cheaper than I was looking at buying my own scaffolding. You know, fu- no, fuck that whole situation. That room would just stay that color. No, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's like shit, fucking baby shit brown. Because it's Perfect. so 80s, 70s. And textured. And, ugh. Ugh. It's disgusting looking. It's horrendous. Yeah, but then if you ever have a brown mustard accident where you accidentally throw a bunch of brown mustard at your wall. There you go. It's not going to be a big deal. Bro, when you pack. said a brown mustard Diary accident, accident for some reason, I thought, yeah, I thought you were talking like, shit, your pants. Like, yo, well, the next time yeah, somebody case, sharts, can we call it a brown mustard? This, <laughs> wait, this is your, is this your living room? <laughs> yeah. Is that, okay, yeah, so in case you're in your living room and you decide to plant your asshole flat to the wall and, and fart. take a shit and buck, shart. Buck cheeks on there. In case you decide to shit on your wall. Like scary movie style. No, oh, shit it's, been, these walls, right? it's an experience. I mean, I, we should we'll, we'll be done in two weeks, and then um, your room is the baseball room. It has a, a baseball. It is the ceiling fan. The blades are baseball bats, and the globe for the light is a baseball. And the and the and above the baseball where the light plugs into, it's a catcher's mitt. It's the funniest fucking <laughs> lamp, and we've dubbed it Adam's room because it, it's just so funny. But yeah, yeah. and then. The room next I can only the imagine the, the kid that actually was in there. I don't, dude. That's it's... what I'm trying to imagine. The fucking, literally, I just imagine we'd be like, "Well, good morning, sport. <laughs> good morning, <laughs> <laughs> morning, sport. Are you there, short man? <laughs> like, sleep good? <laughs> gorsh. No, nah, it was so funny. Like, as soon as I saw that room, I was like, "Dude, this room's fucking dank. It, it it's got the fans, so it's the most important thing. Homeboys Man's. like me, he needs two fans on him." Yeah, two fins. I do. Two I, fins. I mean, Chelsea I, only lets me have one, but the dream is two. Oh, two is great. You get it both sides. Mm-hmm. The best. I wake up sweaty too many times. I can't help it. Yeah. But fuck, mates. I hope you guys find a house soon. I mean, if not, you know, we'll we'll all move into my house and we'll all work remote. We'll be That's like fine. the we'll we'll That's it'll be like fine. full house, bro. <laughs> I'm Danny Tanner, except my wife's not dead. <laughs> well, could be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Adam's Uncle Jesse. Or no, technically David would be Uncle Jesse, because didn't Uncle Jesse have a baby with, what's her face, Rachel? Aunt Rachel. Becky. Uh, oh, yeah, it was Becky, sorry. Oh, Who's you it? lied. You watch Friends. You watch Friends. <laughs> no, no, You're a no, liar. No, no, no. You're a goddamn liar. Yeah. Hold on. Danny <laughs> dated Rachel. Sorry. I mixed up my full house name. Did he? Yeah, he dated a girl named Rachel. This Who was the later, and then he had Rachel? to have a talk with Michelle <laughs> about just because I'm with her doesn't mean I don't love your mom still. It was a, trust me. Oh, I don't know. I don't care. And, but you're all right. You're Dave Coulier. Cut it out. <laughs> yeah. Cut it out. <laughs> That's like the best fucking thing. God. I, I. All right. If there's anything I've learned, literally, if you guys don't find a house by the end of the year, be Dave Coulier. You're fucking moving in when we're and we'll all go to the club and Dave will go play guitar and then you go and do stand up at night and I'll just. Twenty twenty three is gonna dad. be weird. Okay, yeah, me, real weird. Me and David will just start a a, a radio show. <laughs> be dope. I I'm, we could. I'll, I'll fucking I'll gladly be a producer. We'll get a for red it. light that we stick on the on, by the door so you know when we're live and you <laughs> oh can't my come God. in. That'd be hilarious. Dude, what's up? And then when Adam's done, Chelsea will come in and we're gonna run our porno podcast. Yeah, we're and we're gonna talk about, about all of our favorite uh, jizz. She's like, um scenes. She you goes, know, all you know what? If, the, come. if their boobs aren't bouncing, what's the point? If yeah. you don't hear the clap, the booty clapping, what's the point? So on the reels, though, <laughs> listen. So listen. So, that, so let's talk about some shit. But so we're we're talking about big ass titties right now, right? Just because that's where I'm at. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to see a big ass titty with a little areola, like a big titty little nipple, 
or a no nobody likes proportionate, nipples. Or, or a proportionate areola to the size of the tit such as like a double d or bigger look if an if, areola that fits the titty if they have or, tiny or nipples on a big boob, a little it's nipple. fake it's fake that's not always fake some girls just have little some nipples have little nipples yeah that's not what i'm saying fan. some bitches have li- little areolas can i tell a random thing do you know who has really little nipples is tyler Oh, is it weird? Like, they're are they like dime sized or some shit? Yeah, it's really funny. Like he like he joked about it one time, and then like he was like, "No, seriously!" And they like lift up his shirt, and like it it looked like a dime uh, around his chest. And I was like, I was like, "How do you have such tiny nipples?" He goes, "I don't know." He's like, "I found this out in football." <laughs> He's like, "When we were all changing the locker room, he was like, I, I forget who it was. It was just like, bro, why are your nipples so small?" And he was like, "You're literally my nipple point is bigger than your whole nipple." <laughs> like, I thought that was like the funniest fucking thing. I'm sure like, genetics have something to do with it. Oh, know? for sure. Yeah, but it was yeah. just like a random funny thing. I I remember hearing. I was like, that's fucking, that's just hilarious. So we have always he, made. He's fun also of a him. a very small human being. Yeah, I mean, ever. I mean, I guess like it's like old style male, like how like men have gotten like bigger uh, throughout time, like height wise and length wise, because short squad or something from genetics i don't know i watched it on discovery at one time but i was also really hammered could be true could be hokum but charles bronson has always existed so i don't know bro i didn't I don't know I, you didn't tell me did you watch that uh that creek show what What? remember the show i told you about on discovery david uh about... oh fucking blind frog well, fucking... The... yeah creek? blind frog yeah. ranch man blind frog i almost said manor no i didn't I didn't watch it. I literally, I'll be real with bitch. you. I haven't watched anything. I've been so fucking busy with work and shit. I have Okay, so I've been so busy with I haven't done shit. The most I did is on Friday night, I went to the fucking sports emporium and played some dope shit. Nice. Hell yeah. I but I will tell you. I really badly right now. Bruh, Adam, you're going to love this because I don't know if you've seen it or not. Um, I haven't really been like arcading, arcading or anything. And. The first game I knew existed, and I don't know if you guys have played it, but it's uh, Pac-Man Air Hockey. Yes. Where no. you, where you, it's like a board and a half wide, and it's probably a little longer than your standard fucking uh, air hockey table. It drops out the regular air hockey puck. Two people play on each side, so you'll play in fours or play with two paddles in your hand. You'll play like normal for a bit, and then it drops like fifty little tiny pucks. And you just and then you have to smack. Yeah, you got to smack all the little pucks and the big puck and try to fucking like cream pie your opponent. It's amazing. Not um, too much for me. It's then, like there's a wall where they rain down. It's like pachinko yeah. style. Uh, too much. But what I will tell you, the Continue. star, the star of the night, they have fucking human adult sized. Hungry, hungry hippos. Fuck yeah, bro! You I was sit, hungry, hungry on you, my list. You you sit on the hippo, and then behind its head is a giant lever. You pull back and forth, and then like you know how the balls were at like McDonald's in the ball pit. Those yeah. fucking shoot out of the center, and you have to pick up the head of the hippo like you would in the game, and you gotta fucking reach out for the balls and pull them back, and it has a counter, and then it actually counts Fuck out yeah. and fucking wins. It's awesome. That was so the sad. Fun. I'm not in Carlisle right now. Dude, that was the highlight of being at the sports emporium besides just getting to play some classic ski ball. But that was just absolutely fucking stellar. I played that shit and I was like, this is the greatest game. This is almost what I only ever want to play ever again. Well, now I'm going to go to the yeah. Cyrocade in like two weeks whenever I'm done renovating my house a little bit. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it was real cool. I was like, bro, if I come back, that's the first game I'm jumping on. I need, I need to come in a quad so I can have people to play fucking... Hungry, hungry hippos with. If it was Tommy Lee, it'd be called hungry, hungry hippos. I, I hate uh, myself that for that one. I apologize. Dumb. I'll just end it. Talking about Tommy Lee no, Jones. Don't end it there. Tommy Lee Jones. Back okay, let's hear. Mind. Let's Adam. Adam here, closing statements. Yeah, cl- closing fact of the of the show here. Did you know there's only eight species of bear? Can, let's see if I can list off them. All right, ready? Oh, let me pull up the list so I can verify. Mm, okay. All right. Before yeah. before before I announce this, I'll just say now: like, comment, subscribe. You know, follow us on Facebook and uh, the YouTube's and uh, Spotify and all that. We'll jazz. get all the other socials going at some point in time. Yeah, we're good. I'm also there. bet. I'm I'm betting the short. I feel like you're only going to get four out of eight. Really? I'll write them down real quick. I, I was shocked that there's no, only no, eight. No, no, no. 
Speak them out. Speak them out. That I, was, will, I will. As I say, I'm writing the, them down. The crazy part. Okay. That there's only eight. Are, are, are you ready? I'm yep. listening. Okay. Brown bear. Right. Yep. We got black bear. Of course. Mm-hmm. We have polar bear. Right. Yep. Sorry, I just oh laughing. shit! We so that's no, I just three. Started, that's I just three. Started, <laughs> I just started laughing. Uh, Kodiak. Sure. Uh, no. Is that separate or is that brown? That's part of brown bear. Is it oh, really? Shit. Oh, yeah. Shit. Grizzly. Also, uh, that's also brown bear. So that's a brown bear. Also, yeah. there's two types of black bears, so you, you need to specify. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Panda. <laughs> Panda's on there, yeah. Okay, Panda's here we go, here we go. I'm at four of the eight. Um, man, that blows my mind that the species are broken off like that. So Kodiak and, and Black Bear, Brown Bear are all different. I got Polar, Panda. Grizzly is technically a part of, you're saying the Black the Brown Bear. A Brown Bear. Brown Bear. Um, Kodiak is the Brown Bear. I'm assuming you meant the North American Black Bear. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, South American black bear. Yeah. Uh no. Well, good no, good it's guess. Not what it's called, but <laughs> good guess. <laughs> I tried to pull that one out. It's uh, not what it's called, but it is a black bear in South America. Just... Oh my god. I don't know. I got to four. I was pretty confident, wasn't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm betting this short. I bet you hit four out of eight. <laughs> I think you've you definitely know two of the other ones, but you would never like think of them. What are they? Is is, uh, is oh, Red Panda on one of them? Is, is Red Panda on that list? No, no. That's, that is, I don't think that's actually that's a, a marsupial. Yeah. Mar yeah. yeah. So running down the list, we got North American black bear. Okay. Brown bear. Okay. Yeah. Polar bear. Okay. Yeah. Asiatic black bear. Asian black bears in Asia. Yeah. Their eyes are just. Never mind. I'm not saying it. <laughs> 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 They're black. They're. Their brown, eyes are just all brown. black. Yeah. The South American bear is the Andean bear because they're only found in the Andes. Okay. Panda. Find a whole fucking bear in your candy. Yeah. The sloth bear. I have to look up a sloth bear. Uh, they're like they have like the, the longer hair. Like it mm -hmm. kind of looks like a shaggy, shaggy bear. And then the Regular final one is the, good, though. is the sun bear. The sun bear? What the fuck is that? Yeah. They, um... I don't know. That's one. Where are they found? Well, they're the... The sun bears are... Uh, Southeast whenever, Asia. I was like going to say... Cambodia, China. India. I know they're, uh... Like, when the mom bear has a boy, it's a sun bear. Sorry. <laughs> Baby bear. Mama bear. Papa the only bear. other bear I know of is little bear. <laughs> I was gonna say, motherfucker, if you would have listed off Mama Bear, Papa Bear, <laughs> Little Bear, Little Bill, oh. if you would have mentioned any of these people, I would have been very, very impressed with your list. Just start list the burn the Bernstein Bears, uh, you know. Right. Just... I'm sorry, Chicago Bears. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus, fucking hell. But yeah, that blew my mind that there's only eight species of bear. I found that out last night, and I my mind is blown. Well, I, I have I only see like one species of bear and then cubs, but it's mostly when I go to my gay bars. <laughs> Am I right? Mm, 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 mm. Uh, 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 uh. Well, fuck, mates. I'm gonna run away. Gay joke. <laughs> gay joke is my life, David. <laughs> my gay life's not a joke. joke. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a joke. <laughs> Just start crying. <laughs> I'm gay. Yeah, I'm gay. Yeah, yeah, he didn't save himself. He's like, I'm gay. And she breaks the lamp over him. And he goes up to his coach. He goes, Coach, turns out I'm gay. He goes, What? Me too. <laughs> they don't get married. That shit's so funny. He goes, Where do you, I love, where do you guys that's, take a dump? Just on the lawn. In man. the lawn. Yeah. <laughs> You've you been pitching loaves out there. I play croquet. <laughs> what a phenomenal movie. Dude, what? I fucking love that. He's like, No, nah, I'm not getting married. Turns out I'm gay. He's like, me too. Really, I love that Jack Black. Rich. Really, really. If only that was that, a, a spy, uh, a mystery spy. I guess next week, whenever we record, we'll have our synopsises of our movies for the pot du of the second draft for the season of movie for the mystery spy. 
starring. Yeah. I'm not reading off our cast list. Yeah, yes. A long list. I just wanted to. We read. got the boob squad. Yeah, boob, boob squad. squad. Keaton and boys. Gal Gadots. Imagine. Gal Gadot Gadots. All right, folks. This is just another day with me. Yeah. Me. And me. <laughs> have a. <laughs> You know, I have a have a blessed fucking day. Yeah. You know? You talking to me? I have nipples, Elliot. Can you milk me? The show has ended. The show has ended. It's just